I forgot the Manning cast. I completely forgot about Manning cast. I didn't watch any of it in the first half. I'm gonna have John to McEnroe was involved, right? Really? I saw he's one I of the guests. I still wish they just wouldn't have any guests ever. There's, and that's silly because there's been some really funny guests when they get on there. But at the same time, I love just hearing, like, you know, Peyton yeah. break shit down. It's yeah. crazy how much is in that giant melon is. <laughs> All right. Um, um, obviously, yeah, depressing first half if you're a Jets fan or if you placed a Jets teaser without the <laughs> foreknowledge of them having to go with Zach Wilson. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Were you were you tuned in live when it happened? Yeah. Okay. It didn't. It, it seemed like a pretty innocuous hit, and it seemed like oh, he's just a little shook up, or maybe you know, he yeah. twisted his ankle a little. But he's apparently it's a uh, it's pretty rough. We don't know what the we don't know what the extent of it is at, at all. No, I mean we're assuming it's at least fifty percent chance it's Achilles, which is season. The other fifty percent is some range of. High ankle sprain, list Frank, maybe. Um, just like a general, like something bad in the heel. I mean, it, there's a lot of things it could be, but um, we're not going to get resolution on this today because they're going to MRI it and then they're going to. Oh, there's like 60 it, Twitter doctors now and a lot of, you know, just uh, like Zapruder film levels mm-hmm. of slowing it down and zooming in and looking, you know, if the. Because I've seen people's Achilles snap in in yeah. football when they're running, and if you can see it, it definitely has like a you know. Oh a yeah, shake it's like a break your rub. Yeah, you break a rubber. Yeah, you band can see that. It's just it's hard to see anything. So, ankle, foot, Achilles, calf. Who knows? We'll find out. I out today, and then yeah, I just posted that on Twitter. The schedule coming up, and if it is Zach Wilson, is not super. <laughs> because next week they have the team that uh, basically took Daniel Jones's soul for 60 minutes, okay. 55. They did take him out at the very, very end. Uh, you have New England. So you have, yeah, you have New England. What, what was that? And, and the rest of them. You have Kansas City in week four. They have Chris Jones back. You have Denver. You have Philly. Like, this is a. Uh, yeah. This is quickly like, oh no. I got to feel like if you took a swing on Dallas minus three before this game, which was wi- actually widely available, circa very home, widely available. Really. I, I'm kind of unused to seeing a widely available game from a Monday team, including a Monday team that early, but they did it and they probably took some Dallas bets because I can't imagine anyone was really trying to get bets, Jets bets down. And now that reopens. 13, 13 and a half. Yeah. That could be a 10 point CLV for the Dallas minus three. Yeah, I mean, I bet it opens 10. It's still mm-hmm. just, I don't know what Rogers is worth compared to Wilson. Um, yeah. I'd, I'd open it at 10. Um, okay. The, the, the interesting thing too, and we talked about this a little off the air is that the first round pick, he has to start 65% <laughs> of snaps. So what if it is a high ankle sprain? And, because you can come back yeah. after like five, yeah. six. What what if it's a yeah. high ankle sprain? They start and he misses 5. the shit and then comes back and he's the hero. Yeah, that's can, well, not they crazy. They start zero five. They have to tr- they have to pay the first round pick and they yeah. end up with like a five hundred record. Don't make the playoffs. That's the absolute worst. That case. sucks. Yeah, that sucks. Uh, Patrick's comment cracked me up. Denver Jets total going to be ten and a half. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, okay, let's talk about this the game. Half. Yeah, let's, let's talk about this game. Um, Bill's defense doesn't look as good as I thought they were going to look. Uh, they are getting decent pass rush, but they are tackling weird, poor tackling. Um, Both teams are going to tackle. The, uh, I would say that there, there's very little that they have to do because Zach Wilson dropping back to pass from third and long is more likely to throw a pick than he is to move the chains, from what I can tell you. Um, I would say the uh, uh, the Jets defense is playing awesome. Uh, Josh Allen is playing like an idiot, like the last time we saw him playing. Um, I think his MVP chances are probably overstated, even if the Bills are winning, because he's going to throw the dumb interceptions. Like he should have two already. CJ Mosley dropped one. Um, he I was, think. And he- yeah, good. I'm salty because of the bets, but I really think he was over the line. And Jeez, it's very, man. it's it's clear, it's clear that the fumbling through the end zone rule is the dumbest rule in football. But being able to like be ninety percent over the line and just having like a foot back there 
feels like a shitty interpretation of what the line of scrimmage really means to passing. It's like the VAR in the World Cup yeah. where the guy has like a pimple over the line. It's like, yeah. Oh, that that was his advantage. That's how he scored. But yeah. Yeah, the arm punt, he probably could have run there. He yes. had two or three runs where he probably should have slidden. Slidden is not a word. He should have. He should be taking a few more slides. He's a big fella, but it's a long season, and you know they want to get theirs. The city is hungry. Yeah. Hungry yeah. for wings and a championship finally. But he, you know what? Here's my uh, well. Maybe a let's. Can you <laughs> can you uh, <laughs> can you come back to uh, uh, Josh Allen and some of his issues later? Let's make a decision on what we want to do with this game. I think Bills three and a half is that still the number? Yeah, it's a it's juicy mm. to the Jets side though. Um, it's fifteen. And minus 05 for the Bills. I mean, yeah. this is going to be pretty. I, I, uh, okay, maybe the Jets have such great leadership in that locker room and they believe in Solid to the tune that he gets these guys fired the fuck up and running out of that tunnel and screaming for a comeback. But they're down 10 and the Bills aren't going to take their foot off the gas. Now, the gas may be they get to 20 uh, because the Jets defense is that excellent. But uh, I don't know that I love more than a field goal or two from the jets here so under 19 and a half is where i'm leaning but i'm not dying to play that because i'm happy with my pregame under where what what uh, what is what what way is the wind blowing for you here man yeah i leaned under uh, just because i wonder if the jets are gonna be able to score and honestly the bills have not looked that crisp no they've looked, been a couple of big plays weak. where you know allen's got out in space and uh the digs throw down the field Tristly, he's yeah, he's, they've been a little careless with the ball. The running game for the Bills has been a little rough as well, outside of a, a couple runs. I mean, honestly, both teams, uh, the run game has been ishy. You know, the, the Brees Hall long run kind of hides how bad the rest of it's been. Uh, Delvin Cook doesn't look all that good, neither Cook looks all that good. There's two of them, so yeah, let's just uh, again, it's I'm not excited to bet this line. Like, these are probably pretty good prices. All right, let's talk go, through this uh, a same more. as last night, small bet on the under. The Bills being able to close the lead without being able to run is how likely? I think that's good because you'll end up with a bunch of, uh, or good for the under rather, you'll yeah. end up with a bunch of uh, jet drives that go, you know, somewhere but now, somewhere but nowhere, if you know yeah. what I mean. Like, hey, here's yes. two first downs and a punt from the 40. Yes, 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 yes. I know exactly what you're saying. Well, and, and the game script uh, would dictate, you know, more passing from Zach Wilson. I'm, I guess the over is live on interceptions, or if if uh, yeah. Garrett Wilson can get behind that's some defenders. the yeah, that's the spooky one. If Wilson ends up with three picks in this game, the Bills are going to have end up with thirty points. Should parlay it. Uh, My Bills minus three in the under. That's not very cool. No, 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 no. Jets money is coming in. I'm going to take the thunder. Uh, People are just kind of preying on this being like a a, a kind of, I think the under is the right look here. I can get it under under 19 and a half at 104. I like that. Let's do that. I think that's the right look. I mean, the Jets defense is playing with inspired, but we just need, we just need them not to um, kind of give up. They didn't give up in some pretty dire situations last year. You see Sauce Gardner's tackling? That was rough. Yeah. Honestly, I mean, he, he's been thrown at a bunch already today, too. Yeah, I mean, Josh Allen doesn't play with the brain. He just he does what he does. No, but it's with, with like a decent amount of success. Sauce yeah. just hasn't been very good. Uh, basically, anybody that's anybody that's good hasn't been good outside of one Brees Hall run. Mm. Well, uh, we, great. we do have a uh, we do have a point of data on uh, Jets uh, being down to the Bills at halftime and Zach Wilson being this quarterback, and uh, they came back and won the game. So uh, let's see. <laughs> the yeah, Jets' 14, second half team 10. total is seven. Probably pushes a lot. I know I, I called it a Dion tackle to somebody. If anyone's old enough to remember Dion Sanders, <laughs> that guy was so electric, especially on punt returns. It was Who's so Dion Sanders? I've never heard of Dion. Sanders. Never heard of him. Who? But man, his tackling was. You mean Coach I mean, Prime used to play football? Arms. Coach Prime used to play football. Actually, no, he played for the uh, Braves. Didn't he? Oh, or who, who's baseball his baseball player. team? The okay. Reds. That checks out. Maybe both. Damn, uh, yeah, he under definitely played baseball. Are, uh, 
unders our unders our better ruski here. Um, that's good. Good look. It's uh, not moving, so people kind of agree this is fair. I guess. <laughs> uh, gone to bed. The oh no! There. Oh, just... by the way, the Bills money came back. It's it's flat one ten now. Okay. So. So the little pu- little push pull on the side. That's interesting. Yeah. Um, I think uh, when Zach Wilson was in his second half mode or come back come back against the Bills last year week uh let's see November 6th so it's probably like week eight or nine right um yeah. let's see who is let's see what let's see what his target yeah, Dion played in a World Series game on the same day as a football game is that right I don't think anybody would let anybody do that if they were on their team now no way um third quarter was a slog there was very few drives. Wilson oh, fumbled. The, the other one? Didn't matter. I'm looking at just that last year. So basically, the way that that went down was uh, Josh Allen got them back into the game with some pretty bad decision making. Yeah, I mean, classic. That was actually the game that Josh Allen uh, popped his UCL. Um, yeah, I did so. mention there weren't very many ACLs. Still, like, <clears throat> excuse me. It has been it has been the year of the hamstring, the hamstring, the Achilles. Foot injuries are very in vogue right now. We just haven't seen the the knees. Jack right. Conklin, add him in, add him to the list. Yeah, he did. Uh, that was everything. That was the ACL, know, MCL. Yeah, the, the engine, the transmission, the drivetrain. Just take that thing to Meniscus. the junkyard. That knee shot. Yeah. yeah, he's uh he's out for the full last season, which is not great for an offense that wasn't good outside of basically uh, Nick Chubb. Yeah. DraftKings um, is refunding all Rogers promos parlays as is tradition in today's betting <laughs> world. Uh, and correct, correct me if I'm maybe somebody in the chat can help me with this, right? If you, so if you bet an over or you put Rogers over in a parlay, they give you a refund. Yes. Um, if you, do you get your cash on the unders though, right? They can't take that away. Surely. Well, he started. Sides, yeah, correct? that's that would be yeah. against that would be uh, within house rules, I assume. Somebody keeps asking who's playing at the halftime show. Is there a band? Uh, I don't think so. For not to celebrate 9 11, that'd be a tacky. Yeah, I wouldn't want to take that gig. No, unless it was um, a really patriotic band. All right, so one other just Woody real Guthrie. general thought on Josh Allen, and then we can overtime it, I guess. But, okay. uh, um, I love watching him play. Like he's fun to watch, but he's got the same MVP problem that like Mike McCarthy has for the coach of the year problem, which is that when he does something, he makes a mistake. It's too easy for like just people watching TV at home to be like, Oh, how, how do you do that? Like, you're not supposed to do that. You know what I mean? Like he makes too many obvious, like, you know, that low hanging fruit concluding that he's made a clear and obvious mistake in judgment. Right, he plays super frantic. If somebody has said that. I feel like, feel like in the check, that's absolutely right. Like he is, um, he's running around without a plan. He's doing things. You know, he's forcing things. He's throwing. You know, he he's he's. Uh, it's not even he's um, taking chances. Right, like there's a there's a spectrum of aggressiveness that you want to be past some point because if you're too safe, then comeback mode becomes impossible. So you're just not willing to go out. Yeah. Um, you know, you're not willing to go at the, uh, um, you know, go for it when you need to. But then the other end of the spectrum is just like you're, you know, aggressive to the point of stupid because, uh, you know, f- take slide, slide, they fight again in the day. Uh, is Tua, Tua going to open up tomorrow as the MVP favorite? I, I know that Patrick Holmes still has a lot of cachet and it's know. very early. There's a lot of season left, but he's going to be right up there because. I mean, yeah. Allen could have a very nice second half and absolutely keep himself in that conversation. But and some of the some of the bigger names didn't have uh, all that great in week one. Yeah, no, the state of quarterback play in the NFL right now is a little 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 troubling. Um, and I know it's week one, and create you know we'll 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 grow into our season as opposed to uh, coming out of the gate hot. And I think in a lot of ways the preseason rules the way they are now and the lack of 
uh, game reps, the lack of off season mini camp time is spent with the facility, like all those limits on practice has really, really, really um, kind of thrown cold water on the quality of play early in the season. I think that's becoming apparent. Uh, combine that with new new quarter, young quarterbacks, new offensive coordinators, and this is sort of where we are. Yeah, and this oh is boy. this is the thing. The Jets do have five <laughs> prime oh ten boy. games. Uh, beat Gamer ninety nine is a good point. No more preseason. You do yeah. see that some some of the yeah. teams who don't play there, although if you you want the exception to the rule, we got starts from the first team offense for the Steelers in all three games. They come out there, look good in all three games, and go out and did what they did yesterday. So, you know, it, I guess it depends on your, you know, where you're at. Um, a lot of these veteran quarterbacks, like Kirk Cousins, is never playing a preseason game again. That's just kind of where we're at with Minnesota. And uh, the offense looked fine. Obviously, Jefferson didn't play. He looked fine. You just can't turn the ball over three times with some some goofiness there. Yeah, this is like preseason game for it is kind of preseason week for yeah. um, check. it's a copycat league. Uh, hey, nice pass there by Zach Wilson. Uh, he like found one pass, old Tebow tribute. Yeah, yeah. I think, uh, I think, uh, in general, uh, uh, he, you know, the game's not going super fast for him, but the Bills' defense is good enough to really, um, force him to do some tough stuff, which is where I think this comes apart to a degree. Um, really nice, really nice route and run really nice route and uh, moves by Garrett Wilson there. Um, Garrett Wilson's he's... still very good. This, Man, is the, dude. this is what sucks. It sucks for like Garrett Wilson, Brees Hall, the, the good defensive players. Like those guys had so much excitement probably coming into this year. Hey, we got a Hall of Fame yeah. quarterback. Well, we that, I mean, the, yeah. The, chuds from last year. Yeah, the amount that this uh, uh, really impacts a lot of these young players, uh, you know, ability to get the next contract kind of sucks for these guys. I mean, Zach, I mean, Garrett Wilson was, he was going to be the breakout. Obviously he's still, maybe um, it's not, obviously it's not over, but uh, he had a better chance with Aaron Rodgers, who likes to lock in on a target, like, you know, build a little bit of chemistry, get him in the red zone. Look at them matriculating. <clears throat> They're matriculating well, but it's a lot of bad tackling by the bills. And this is uh this has been kind of a theme now. Um, do you know what's going on with some of these uh, these Bills defenders? I guess here's where I'm at, right? My player ratings and recomposition said the Bills defense was underrated. But I was spooked by the fact that they just have a lot of older players, a lot of them, particularly those safeties. These guys are getting up there. Um, the fact that they're not tackling well is a little concerning. Uh, and the linebackers are playing super aggressively and it's like bad angles, bad lines. Right tall. Yeah. Yeah. These are, these are, uh, um, yeah, I mean, these are, these are, I, I feel like I potentially overrated the bills, uh, defense here. And, uh, I guess if they give up a touchdown drive or two in the second half of this game, I'm going to have to make some serious adjustments well, to this unit. And every, is, every game, yeah. When, when we go through the preseason, I, I kind of keep notes on things I say. And, hey, here's basically anytime I say the word like, hey, we, we have to find out or we have a question to be answered here or, you know, we'll see. There's so many, Every team has like 40 of those. And you, you pick out the biggest ones. And with the Bills, obviously, the receiving options and what they were going to do, how often they were going to use two tight ends now that they used high draft capital on Kincaid. But uh, yeah, one, one of the biggest points on the Bills for me was – what is the defense like sans Leslie Frazier? Sure. With, you know, with the big boss calling the shots on the defensive side, is it is the scheme going to differ very much? So far, the effort looks low. It's yeah. the same kind of defense. But I, yeah. You're not going to go redesign the defense. Still the same same head coach. Same I don't coach even know if it's effort is low, but like these guys are, some of these guys are getting through gaps and then just like, I don't even know what's going on, but they're just taking weird, long, weird, lousy angles in fairness they weren't prepared for zach wilson that's <clears throat> the ultimate bailout for him i guess yeah I like i'm just sad the last two primetime games sucked yeah i mean last night was kind of funny after a while it's like <laughs> holy shit and every time they'd show dan quinn just the smuggest motherfucker yeah and rightfully so his defense played so good he's gonna make somebody such a bad head coach next year um, thoughts on the Chris Jones resolution, Drew? You have a take? It felt like 
kind of anticlimactic. Like, oh, that's the contract. Uh, I mean, it matters like big time. Stuff. It, like, matters it matters big time this week. Yeah, it's it matters this week especially. Playing. Yeah. Um, it felt like uh, both sides might have lost. I'm not yeah, saying they beat just... the Lions with him, but they certainly have a better chance. Um, and that was a very close game. I mean, uh, you know, I doubt he was out there running routes and catching balls that Tony and, and Moore weren't, but. Um... <clears throat> <laughs> if he can start in the slot, I guess we'd be great. Um, yeah, we do get primetime Kirk has been a little better of late. Mm-hmm. Um, if you remember the Vikings Eagles game last year, it was maybe seven seven at one point, and then it was just never close again. Maybe it's fourteen seven. The Vikings maybe they didn't score to the second half. It was one of those where the Eagles were in such a death grip, Vader choke control of that game that they didn't even really need to score that much in the second half. It it felt like maybe there wasn't scoring in the second half of that game. They just kind of put it to Minnesota right off the bat. Minnesota didn't look good. And what was it, like 24, 26 to 7? A um, little troubling seeing what we saw from the Philly offense after they were spotted that nice lead. But, boy, the Vikes defense is certainly not the Patriots defense. So, uh, short week. We'll see what Sirianni mixes up for, uh, you know. The other thing, too, is short week with two new coordinators. Be mm-hmm. interesting to see what the offense looked like, because there was some there was some questionable play calling, and I didn't like all the execution we saw. Even against yeah. again, a lot I, of credit yeah. to the Patriots' defense. That is a very good defense. They're you know probably should have won that game honestly. Yeah, I think and so yeah, that'll too. be a pop. That'll be a popular teaser. And since my Jets 49ers teaser is going to lose tonight, I will probably do an Eagles 49ers teaser just because it's. And why not? I'm not sure how to play that game because we talked about it and like the concepts that the Vikings are going to want to run defensively are probably going to get shredded. Um, I don't, you know, what like is usually a fu- is usually, you know, it's usually a kind of true blue, terrible play early in the season, Thursday night football over. Yep. Like it's just usually that those are dead before they get started. It doesn't matter who the teams are, how good the offenses are, how bad the defenses are. I don't know why. Early in the season, it's tough for these guys to turn around and really give you impressive, solid performance this quick. Now, on the offensive side, for whatever reason. Um, so I'm probably going to pass on that game, but I'm leaning over. Um, I think I want to say something positive about Makai Becton tonight. It feels like his run blocking, sure. particularly uh, when they've needed him to step up, has been really impressive. I don't know why they even bother running to the left. They should just run right every time. Becton is literally just moving his guy it's into the center. Under offense. <laughs> they can only go right. Um, oh, lucky Jets. Unlucky under betters. Unlucky. Well, we, we will we will persevere. We will. You know, that was kind of worst case scenario. Yeah, kind of was. Yeah. Um, um <clears throat> They are right. third down right now. So this is a decent, decent chance that Zach Wilson is thinking, don't throw a pick, don't throw a pick, don't throw a pick, don't throw a pick. So <clears throat> the I just checked my numbers. The Minnesota game I make it seven point seven point seven. Oh. So giving giving Philly minus or giving them like one point five for home. But it's weird. It's a weird uh it's kind of a weird spot on a short week like that. Two good coaches. Mm-hmm. Two good quarterbacks, and yeah, the end. It's one of those where the over feels live, and it's gonna it's gonna be like a really sad death for that. Oh my god, are you saw? Are you that far ahead of me that you saw that fumble like a minute ago, where you just threw it backwards out of bounds? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I gotta see this next play and figure out what's going on though, because I wasn't. Yeah, time. sometimes the chat's ahead of us too, and that when they say, "Oh my god, Wilson." I know he's running backwards to the fifty yard line. Like that was that was something else. He you remember, and I I hate to dis- besmirch him because he was a very good quarterback both in the CFL and the NFL. But when Warren Moon played for the Vikings, and that's when I first <laughs> became a Minnesota Vikings an NFL a football fan in the mid nineties. That guy would take like seventeen yard sacks. He would run <laughs> backwards forever. It was maddening because he was such a good passer too. Oh, he almost got to the forty five. Yeah, 
Yeah. That's impressive. Yeah. And honestly, that would have taken them out of field goal range, which would have been hilarious. What did um, they call for a flag? Offensive. It was off o- OPI. Yeah. OPI. <laughs> field goal. Rub some, rub some Tabasco in his All eyes. Right. <laughs> field goal is good. So uh, Jets, uh, if you played Jets plus three and a half, you're probably a little disappointed. They had a bit of mojo going there. Uh, a, a, a Bills answer with a touchdown here makes you – uh down a half point uh we don't think the bills are realistically getting answer with the touchdown here um the jets defense is playing with juice i guess the fact that sala got those guys focused enough to come out there and kind of execute that drive and that they put their kind of script together and in that quick uh, of an order and everybody there was no procedural penalties there there was no wasted timeouts there um that kind of indicates maybe a little bit of competency going on with the jets offensive you know kind of if, if I were if I were Sala, I would give the normal pep talk, the thing, and then I'd be like, "All right, offense, get out there, head out there with uh, Hackett, get ready," and I'd leave the defense in there, and I'd be like, "You guys, it's Zach. We need you so bad here. We need you. We need you guys so bad because it's it's not Aaron anymore. It's Zach. We're gonna score like four points in the second half. I think you could have used." That one. You could use last year's experience as a little motivating tool. Hey, we were losing to these guys last year. Same, same place. Same, yeah. you know, same, same quarterback. I'm, I'm inside I'm of my teaser right now. I'm fine with this final score. Just kill it. Call it, call it a day. I think it's possible that we end here. Oh, I would love that. I doubt yep, it. I'd, I'd like to see about a four, a four minute drive that ends with a punt from the 50 here. So I'm going to go get some late dinner. All right, man. Um, we'll catch you guys Wednesday, normal Zero. time. We'll go through all the games. We kind of talked about Thursday football a little, but there's some there's some fun matchups. And week two is one of the most fun weeks because it's, it's overreaction week, but there's also underreactions to be had. So I mean, there'll be some interesting conversations. I think we might be on the opposite sides of one so far. I've got oh, one really? And, uh, I, I think that you might be on the opposite side of me based on who you like and what you like. But really? Well, I'm dying to know who or what. We'll find out. Tune in Wednesday. See you, jabronis, says Michael.